Thank you for visiting bestbiblecommentaries.com. In this video, I'd like to show you the Matthew volume in the Expositor's Bible Commentary series. Before I do, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel to see videos on Bible commentaries, study Bibles, and other resources that help people understand God's Word. New Testament scholar D.A. Carson is the author of the Matthew volume in the EBC series. This series was originally released, uh, originally published in the early 80s, and then it was revised around 2007 to 2010 is when most of the revisions were published. The original set had a yellowish-greenish cover to it, and then it was, had a different cover design, a black cover design with some purple and yellow um, design to it. And then the book you're seeing here on this video is the cover design for the revised edition. In the original series, in the original EBC series, the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, were all one volume. And part of the layout design of that original series is that the Matthew volume would receive more room than the Mark and Luke volume. Because there's overlapping material in the synoptics, um, the publishers didn't think that all three synoptics needed to be of equal size. But the Matthew volume could be larger and cover a lot of the the synoptic overlapping material. And then the Mark and Luke could be supplemental to the Matthew volume. So that's why the Matthew volume in the original and in the revised gets more room, gets more, gets more space. Um, uh, in the revised edition, the, it's just Matthew and Mark in one volume, and then you have to get the Luke X, uh, volume separately. But one thing that, that readers will notice in the original and the revised is how much longer the Mark volume is, or sorry, how much longer the, uh, the Matthew volume is. So the Matthew volume, the Matthew portion of, of the book is 670 pages. And then the Mark portion um, is about 300 pages. And so um, Carson covers a lot of the overlapping material in the synoptics and, and Mark and Luke portions in the EBC series, EBC series covers less. Interesting story about uh, D.A. Carson was not actually the original author. He was not originally assigned the Matthew volume in this in this series. Uh, uh, New Testament scholar Robert Gundry was assigned the volume, but the editors, after seeing his work, thought that some of his comments on textual criticism were outside of the bounds of the broad evangelical tradition that they wanted this commentary to to rest in. And so um, the Matthew volume was reassigned to D.A. Carson. And just interestingly enough, um, over the last 30 or 40 years, it has been considered, many consider at the top Matthew commentary available today. Um, some will say that um, maybe R.T. France is number one and put Carson too, but Carson is almost always at the top of the list for Matthew commentaries. Uh, the, the series is broadly evangelical. Um, the, the EBC series is premillennial in, in books where that's particularly important, like Daniel and Revelation and First and Second Thessalonians. Carson is all millennial, and he is also reformed. There are other writers in the series that are not reformed, but um, the editors in the series as a whole wanted some variation on on. Uh, different denominational tradition, authors coming from different denominational traditions, taking uh, differing opinions on secondary matters. They just wanted to, um, they wanted authors to be under the, the broad umbrella of conservative evangelicalism. And so that's what we find in the EBC series. There is a two column layout to the commentary. So again, the Matthew volume, 670 pages, two columns makes, makes, um, is able to present more information. So 670 pages of two column layout is a pretty substantial commentary. So if you decide to invest in, in this volume, you, I mean, it is a pretty large mid-sized commentary on Matthew. And then you get a 300 page commentary on Mark, which is also mid-level. The revised edition of the Mark volume is done by Mark Strauss, a New Testament scholar, Mark Strauss, who's done a lot of work in the Synoptic Gospels. Um, so you might have seen his books around. So it's, it's kind of a two for one, but 
just because of the space devoted to the to the Carson volume, um, the Carson portion, the Matthew commentary takes up most of the room. The target audience is is pastors. It's not technical though, and Carson writes in a very accessible way. Even when he's talking about matters related to biblical scholarship, he writes in an accessible way. So I think lay people who are used to reading Bible reference material would do okay with this volume. Um, Carson is also intentional about offering theological reflection in his commentary. He is the editor of the Pillar New Testament commentary series, and one of the purposes of commentaries in that series is to offer theological reflection. He certainly does that in this Matthew volume, even to the point of of it becoming devotional in certain places. And I think that's just because, um, you know, it's it's the heart, it's his heart combined with his the mind he has for scholarship, there is also a heart and a passion there uh, for the things of God and the things of Christ. And that just comes through in his writings. And that's one of the reasons why his commentaries are well reviewed. So I thank you for um, watching this video. And I hope this commentary, I hope this commentary, I hope this video has been helpful to you in understanding this commentary. And um, thank you for watching it. Thank you for visiting bestbiblecommentaries.com. I'll put some links below.